Hello and welcome to another plan with me. This is Elise, plan with Elise, and today we are planning in my big happy planner for the week of July 17th through 23rd. So I have a couple of wrong wrong sticker books here and I really like this you goal girl, you goal girl, I struggle with saying that, <laughs> sticker book and I thought that it would be fun to pull out. So um, I used this before. I've used it in my classic. And of course, you know, once I use a sticker book and end up pulling out like my favorite elements, there's less to use. But <laughs> who says you can only use a sticker book once? So I glanced through this this morning and I was like, yeah, there's plenty left to be able to work with. So I'm going to grab one of these stickers right here and we are going to start whoops this way I'm today is my first day of trying a new morning routine so let me put some of these down as I chat with you about my my typical morning routine and the changes I'm making and we're going to see how it goes but my typical morning routine well typical has changed let's let's reword this um, for the first couple weeks in the house, my morning routine has been wake up, exercise, shower, film, and read. And the challenge I'm having is that I'm waking up earlier and I'm really tired during my workout. I'm using my Peloton to work out and I am just not not waking up the, the the way that I want or the I'm not awake enough that I want to be I don't know that that made sense so what I'm trying to do now is I want to bring in a checklist stencil but I also have the rainbow collection sticker book so what I'm starting doing today when we're going to see how it goes is wake up make coffee film a video so that by the time I finish filming the video I am energized and then while the video is uploading, then I'm going to work out, then shower, then read. I hope that the timing is right. Like I, I shouldn't, I put, I should put those down a little bit lower. I hope that I'm giving myself enough time to do all the things that I wanna do. I'm not entirely sure if I am, but we're going to, I guess, figure that out together. I also have the bullet journal sticker book because there's some fun box stickers in here. Oh, there's also some fun header stickers. And with this sticker book, I can really customize each box to um, fit, you know, whatever I need. And they're habit trackers. So I can kind of color these in and have fun with them. But as I'm looking, I'm like, you know what? I like these day of the week headers where my tweezers. So we've got a lot going on at once here, but it would be cool if there was a set of these day of the week headers that were kind of like varsity letters like that, but it's okay. This kind of just adds a little something fun to it. Oh, that's not Sunday. What is with me and messing these up? This has been like a consistent thing for me lately, and I don't know what is going on. I know days of the week. <laughs> I learned them probably in preschool and I just seem to be struggling lately. You know what? It's like when they're different in the sticker book and maybe in a different order, right? So, but I am very much a Monday start planner and I feel like it's for a lot of reasons. Mondays are my payday. So not only is it the start of the week, it's always the start of a new week for me budgeting because I am paid weekly. Unless, of course, there is a Monday holiday, then I'm paid the Friday before, and then that always kind of screws me up. But I do like being paid weekly. I do like being paid on Mondays. It's it's a good way to start the week. So now we actually have the day of the week sticker is down. Okay, this is looking fun. But my original goal over here was to pull in a box. So <laughs> let's get back to that. I do see a couple of boxes down here or maybe this one for Monday and then I'm gonna wait in terms of the color 
until I have everything down so I can decide like what color I want to use for these except for where I have um, where I'm using the rainbow sticker book and then, then we have these habit trackers so I think that these would be really fun so I'm gonna bring in three habit trackers for the week just deciding where I want to put them so if I go back to gold digger I need a bigger space on my desk <laughs> I like this girl right here. And then we can put this down. And I'm not worried about covering up this week's list a little bit, but I feel like I'm going, I'm not worried about it because this, these stickers cover it. Oh, you know what? I think I ran out of my correction tape. Hmm. I feel like I ran out of that during a video. And I know I have more because I saw several when I was moving. Oh, maybe this one has it. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I wasn't going to be worried about covering this up because the sticker covers it up. Wrong, wrong stickers are a little bit thicker. However, because I'm kind of going around it and it's not just a clean sticker placement over it, that's why I'm going to do that. And then we're just going to add some of these little, little elements. I don't usually play around with the sidebar this early in the spread, but I knew what I wanted to put here and I thought, let's just go for it. And we'll take this one, get this in, we'll be right there, and then there we go. And this will give me a few good habits to track throughout the week. And then we'll put these down too. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? There's really no right way necessarily to put stickers down in your planner. Okay. There's a lot going on here because I have a few sticker books out. Now I'm going to jump back to this gold digger because this has, now typically I don't love the gold stickers, but look from the rainbow sticker book to the gold digger sticker book, this is a really nice combination. And then we can even bring in this pink over here to kind of do a little bit of box layering. So we should be able to do that one and this right here. And again, I really don't need to spend the time covering up this whole corner because these stickers are thick enough to really not see what's underneath, which is great. And then let's do another checklist. So down here, um, what colors do I have left to use? I can use orange because we have orange up there. Does this have blue? Yes. It is the rainbow. So let's bring in this blue. Go a little bit higher up there again and find my checklist stencil. Oops, slid it over there. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side. I feel like with a lot of sticker books, I need to have only one out at a time. So um, we had that gold digger. Now I wanna bring in something decorative, maybe like down here. So I like this flower and we couldn't put this here, but then I'm going to look for something kind of skinny for this section. Um, maybe a goal without a plan is only a dream. Will, that, will they both fit? They won't both fit. So I need something a little bit skinnier unless I want to go over. We already had gold digger, so I'm not going to grab that again. Let's see. Flowers.
I could also use different florals. Oops, oops, ah. I could also use different florals to give myself a little bit more space. Hmm. Make your passion your paycheck, you go girl. Some of these pages came out. They did not fall out. They are out because I took them out when I was taking a photo of the last spread that I did with these. No skulls. Okay, so, hmm. I'm not finding anything I necessarily want to do over here, which makes me think that maybe I need to switch the flower idea. So let's go to this one. And what was the quote that I was liking before? We'll get back to that. A goal without a plan is only a dream. We put that there and then this will go right over here. And then we can do boxes and a checklist there. So I'm gonna do the checklist first and I'm gonna to try to sort of bring it around about this side. I love the beginning of July because it's 4th of July, it's my birthday, it's my nephew's birthday. But I also really enjoy once we get into this portion of July where it's just summer. It's just summer, it's no, um, I mean, there are birthdays, but well, there aren't like birthdays of people in my daily life that I have for after July 14th happens. So it's fun to just kind of have summer and the rest of summer is sort of open for whatever I want it to be. Um, it tends to be a lot of outside time, which makes me happy because I am such a summer baby. I enjoy the heat. I was saying to a friend, oh, that's going to be too big. We're going to shrink it a little bit. I was saying to a friend that <clears throat> yesterday was 95 degrees and she was like, that is way too hot. I'm like, you know what? We don't, we only get three months of heat. If we're lucky, I do not mind it. I mind going in and out of places because then I feel like I get sick because of all the air conditioning and then the heat and the air conditioning and the heat. So that I don't love. But June was pretty horrible weather-wise. We had so many days of bad air quality because of the wildfires in Canada. And I'm just happy that July, fingers crossed, so far has been, uh, has been somewhat nice. Okay, I think we're gonna do a checklist up top over here. I keep moving my checklist stencil and then I lose it. <laughs> so let's do that. And this is the Zebra Sarasa dry pen, which I find dries faster. It's not a perfect dry in terms of speed, but I think that it dries faster than a lot of, a lot of other pens. And then let's look for something over here. Um, Maybe like a bigger sticker. Oh, I did want to bring in manifesting, but I kind of worry, not worry, this is not a real life problem, that it's going to like mess up my anything else that I put down. Because like if I put this down, then I'm going to lose more checklist space or box space or things like that. But I think we're just going to go ahead and do it because I wanted to use that sticker. And I feel like if I don't put it net down now, it's not going to get down at all. Um, all right, what's next? We do are gonna need to bring some flowers in on this side, but I want to bring in a quote. So we had Gold Digger. I also wanna make a comment just in case. <laughs> so the last time that I used this sticker book, someone had commented, um, that this is not my style sticker book and they uh, they didn't really believe the spread or they didn't really, I don't, I don't quite know how it was worded. I love this sticker book. This was actually, I just need a sip of coffee. This was actually a sticker book that I reached out to Rong Rong about promoting. I think that it's really fun. I think the florals are great. Um, 
And I love the like varsity style letters in here. I just think that they're, it's, it's a really different kind of book and one that um, I'm enjoying using. So I was excited about getting it, bringing it out today since I haven't in a while. So let's take Get It Done. And then is there like a little floral? Maybe this one. Can these both fit? I think they can. Get it done. Especially on a Thursday when you kind of feel like giving up. <laughs> giving up. And then I'm kind of like, eh, about these both being next to each other. So now I'm wondering, do I move one of them? Because that feels like a lot there. So these are stuck to the page. Let's try to try to scoot this. Okay, we're just gonna leave this be. <laughs> um, unless I can find my undo. I do see my undo. It's not that far away, so I just need to go get it. All right, I have my undo. I'm going to move manifesting up to the top or up to the bottom of these boxes. So my guess with the comment of someone saying this isn't my style sticker book is because it has so much color. Now, while my planners are typically black covers and black or clear discs and I go neutral that way, I put a ton of color in my spreads themselves. So um, I just kind of wanted to make that comment in case anyone else felt the same way. You know, I have, whoops, I have a lot of sticker books and I'm not going to use what I don't like. Just going to be gentle peeling this. Okay. And if you haven't used undo yet, look, it's almost dry and it's not going to leave any mark on the pages. So we're just going to shift this up a little bit and then get the M back down. And you would never know, once I get this down, hopefully, that it was ripped at one point. Okay, there's a little tear here, but there'll probably be some sort of box over there for it. So let's go back to Rainbow for a header sticker. So I think we're going to use a bright pink. And need this one, right? This is the right color. Yes, this one will go here. Then I think Thursday we'll do another bullet journal sticker. And again, I am going to brighten up these bullet journal stickers. Um, it's just you're not seeing them brightened up now because I'm waiting for all the colors to go down until I select what I'm going to use. And then I think I actually want to first get this down straight and you'll whoops <laughs> and you'll see once I kind of layer this that you won't be able to see the sticker underneath and I think this time we're going to go outside of the box a little bit okay um I want to do another layered thing like that over here so this time I'm going to grab the same glitter but I'm going to grab purple a purple box instead. So we're going for the more violet. And let's kind of switch it up. So I have that there. And then this one over here. Now, I would need to put a checklist down here because I have that one there. So what if we bring in this? Mm, I could put this here since I had taken that sticker out. Now it's like touching the M. I don't know how I feel about that. We'll leave it for now because now at least I have the undo out. And bring in a checklist. I think that this Gold Digger sticker book has a double box. If not, Rainbow Collection has a double box. I'm not loving this one. I think that This time, I don't like that I put it over. So I'm gonna shorten the box a little bit 
And what I find the easiest way to shorten a box is just to clip off the bottom. This really only works with boxes that aren't patterned. But we're gonna clip off the bottom and then just place this right here so that we have a new shorter box. All right, I was talking about double boxes, right? So let's look first in here for a double box. I thought I saw one when I first opened it. We have that one. Um, I think that I want to try to use this one. However, the I don't have any other animal print. So what I'm actually going to do, you know what? I don't need to do that. I was going to say I'm going to slice the inside and just get the frame of the box. But we have pretty much the same style box in this. So I don't necessarily need to do all that extra work for it. So let's kind of map this out, right? I can put, no, I wanna use a double box. So um, I think that we're gonna bring in the purple again. I really like this purple, but I don't know that this sticker book has the shade of purple. So let's try pink, because there's a couple different shades. Nope, it has the darker pink as the double box. Let's go to blue. Maybe I will be cutting that other one out. I've already used the blue, but this is the same blue we use. So this one I can actually bring in. Because once I bring in something down here, then it'll sort of frame out these days here. So let's go back to the florals because I wanna bring some more of them in. And I'm going to put this right down here. I'm trying to decide if I want this bottom floral layered over the box or I want to put the box over the floral. I think I want the floral layered over the box. So I'm going to kind of roll this down. Put this box a little bit higher and then because this is a clear sticker I am going to use my correction tape to cover up that blue strip oh look how cool that looks it's kind of like the box has a little has a little crown I like it all right, now we can, oh my goodness, everything's falling. Now we can figure out the rest. So checklist stencil here, shift it down. And then this one's going to get a couple less checklists. Okay, now back to rainbow boxes. This one can do maybe orange. I just did pink here. I'm not gonna do blue, purple is right here. So I think this is gonna get an orange one. Oh wait, I don't, that's the. There was like two shades here. Let's find the right one. Hmm. I will have, of course, all the stickers that I'm using today linked in the description. So if you are interested, you will be able to grab them. And then you don't need to apply a discount code. But when you click my link, you'll get a discount automatically applied to your order. So that's just something to keep in mind. And then let's see if we have another purple to use here. I need a little purple. There we go. All right, now we need some more boxes. So I am going to bring in, do I do another one of these or do I do another bullet journal style box? I kind of wanna do another one of these. So pink, orange would be the color. 
but I need that light orange. Oh, but I have orange right there. Mm. This is where <laughs> I struggle with when I'm using multiple stickers, multiple, um, that's not the full glittery. That's more of like the ombre. Hmm. Maybe we do a bullet journal box instead. Or let's go back here. Sorry if this seems so unorganized. I'm just trying to switch between sticker books seamlessly, but I don't really do anything seamlessly. <laughs> just who I am. We could bring in one of those boxes. Hmm. Or we just go with one of these, which is more of like the spray glitter. No, that's going to bug me because they don't match. Okay. You know what? Where we have this glitter. Okay. I'm going to do this. We're just going to kind of change up the style a little bit. So instead of two square shape boxes, we're just going to do it like this, which is kind of similar down here. And then we go back to Saturday for a bullet journal style box where I could actually do something a little bit wider because I could put it horizontally since we have room on Friday too. So what I'm looking for right now is a box that I can play with like this one versus this one where I can't quite add color as easily. But this time we can just Put that right there and then I think I'll cover up this okay um I'm gonna bring in some pens to brighten this up and then of course I want to look at the sidebar too I have some mild liners and I also have a Crayola super tip to play around with the colors here to kind of bring in the other colors that I use so it doesn't look so random. So we have that one. Then over here, I don't want to use the pink, but I can use the purple. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this with the purple. We can maybe color this in. I can also shade the corners. Let's shade the corners. Not the corners, but let's add shading to it. That may be enough. A shadow, that's the word I was looking for, not shading, a shadow. Okay, I like that. I did it a little sloppy, but I, I like it. This one, we're gonna bring in the teal. And this time I'm gonna try to put it down evenly. I think this is gonna be a fun spread to use. Sorry for my silence. I'm more likely to mess up if I'm talking through it. There we go. Okay, now we have down here. I did bring in this bright pink, but I'm not actually sure it's necessary. So let's go to the shadows Oops, of this one. Maybe I'm just not good at adding the shadows. I'm making them a little too thick, I think. But I think this I can clean up using my Uniball Signo and make it a little bit thinner. There we go. That's better. Once it dries, it'll look better. And we'll do the purple one over here. And this time I'm actually trying to just really go on the white sticker part, not the white paper. And as long as I can stick with that, we should be even. Okay, there we go. It's nice and bright. Now let's jump back to the sidebar. So I think the habit trackers, oh, you know what? I wanted to play around with the habit trackers too. Um, which color? This is where I kind of want to use the bright pink, but I'm a little afraid. This is a Crayola super tip. 
that I just have to be really careful as I use. So I think this may be one of those things that after I get this second circle done, I do off camera. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to like get my head really close to it, but you can kind of see how it's going to come out. And that's going to be nice. Now let's see what we're going to do on the sidebar, if anything. It's not always a place where I decorate. Maybe we can bring in a goal because this is the goal sticker book. So what if I choose a project for the week and then I bring in action steps for that project? So that's where I could also kind of bring in the pink for here. That might be a, a fun idea. Just something a little bit different where it's like a very specific focus for the week. So what if we take project action steps and then you did it and that kind of goes along with the habit tracker too it's like a fun way to do this all right i really like this spread it makes me happy i'm excited to plan my week in it there's a little bit of empty space over here but i'm trying to be okay with the empty space not everything needs to be stickered up and it also gives me some time to some place space to write if I really wanted to. Um, but I think that this came out really fun. So I will have goal, you goal girl, rainbow collection and bullet journal linked in the description. Again, the code will apply automatically unless these books are on sale. They might be, but when I'm filming this video, um, they're not. So that's just not something I always know in advance because of sometimes my content being filmed ahead of time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you are going to shop, definitely um, use my link because you get a discount, I get a commission, and um, it shows brands that you like what I'm sharing. So that is a wrap. Thanks again. I will see you soon.